Shalom, family Wagwan. It's your sis, Biblical Babe Jelly B Wagwan. I pray you're blessed as always, that you're feeling blessed, that even if you're looking a little bit crusty like I do today, you still know that you're blessed. Okay? You better know that. But um, as always, a few things the Father's put on my heart to speak on, and I just give him all the thanks, all the glory, and all the honor. At me, I can't do things in my own strength. I am a faulted, faulted human. I'm just a human. But I thank him that he will still choose to use us, his humble servants who can't do nothing, who know we can't do nothing without him. But um, these are a few things that he's spoken to me to speak on from before and I've just been like, Sometimes I just don't feel like speaking. So anyway, I'm here to just speak these things to those who these messages are for. This one, for entrepreneurs. And this links to something that the Lord has asked me to do that I'm still working on. But um, I want to speak this to you and I want to remind you, entrepreneurs, yeah? I want you to remember how it feels working for somebody else, for somebody else's dreams. And maybe putting in your own ideas your own vision and it being just dismissed you know working so hard for us somebody else who doesn't even see the hours the extra hours that you put in behind the scenes i want you to remember how it feels to have your visions and dreams dismissed like they're nothing and i want you to use that as motivation as to why you you're going to do exactly what the father's called you to do Whatever purpose, whatever vision he's put on the inside of you, whatever talents you have, you're going to rock that thing. Okay, you see this sin suit? I say you're going to ride it until it ends up in a hearse. That's what you're going to do, okay? I just want to remind you of that feeling, that opposition that you felt. That it should be your motivation to keep building, keep doing whatever it is that the Father has told you to do. Whatever that desire is on your, in your heart. To, to change this world with those people who actually believe that oh my gosh like i want to change i want to do something that's going to make a difference you do you make a difference to people's lives who then go on to do other things that make a difference to other people remember entrepreneurs the only person that is going to prevent you from doing what you're called to do is you lacking motivation lacking confidence not remembering how it felt to have somebody else to just control you, to tell you how things are going to go and to build their dreams. This is a time for you to build yours. This is a time where if you put in the work now, if you do not faint, you will reap exactly bountifully. I'm sure the Bible says you will reap bountifully, but you're going to have to put the work in. Okay, as always, I'm trying to get a little bit comfy. But I just want to speak that to you. I want you to remember always, any time when you're feeling like, oh, you know, I just can't even be bothered. Or, you know, feeling a bit lazy. Like, you just can't, just can't be asked. Remember how it feels to have somebody, an overseer, over your head, telling you how things are going to go. This is your time, your opportunity to build. And nobody's going to stop you. If the Father is with you, no one is going to stop you but you all right keep working keep building shalom